Hey YouTube, it's Sharice here, and I thought I'd do a quick video on how I refresh my makeup when I need to wear it for more than 12 hours and I don't have time to reapply for like the nighttime. Like, this is the makeup I put on at 9 a.m. this morning, but now I'm about to go to a fashion show tonight at 8. It is currently 7.20 p.m., 7.19, almost 7.20, so I have a little bit of time to get ready before I have to go meet up with Corey and we can head down there. Oh, and tonight's drink of choice is Peach Crush. And if you're wondering why I'm in a bathrobe, um, I had aerobic walking today. Today's Tuesday, and we had to, like, do a time mile for walking, but I wanted to get done quicker, so I ran a couple laps. So I've been sweating, so I just got out the shower, but I don't have time to redo my makeup. So I want to show you what I do to refresh my makeup when I need it to last 12 hours plus and want it to look refreshed. So this is my face, how it looks right now. Not too bad after, you know, a long day of wear, but obviously very oily. So the first thing I like to do is get some toilet paper or paper towel and I like to blot the excess oil off. You'll see that it already makes a huge difference. This side of my face versus this side of the face. Just on the cheek. So the first thing to refresh the skin, I'm focusing on the skin for this because, you know, after several hours of wearing, you start to get oily and if you keep adding powder and touching up, it can start to look cakey and I don't want that. When you go to a fashion show, you want to look really nice and really good, right? And fashionable. So this is the first step. And I have like a huge long thing of toilet paper. So make sure I really press and get all the excess oil out of the skin. And as you can see, some makeup does come off with this when you do this. And I'm going over everywhere, especially focusing on the T-zone and the eyebrows. And so that's what this is looking like, you can see I have a lot of oil in my face, like how this toilet paper is looking. So I'm just going to go around my nose again. One more time. So that's the first step. So now when I look at my skin, it looks a lot better. Next what I'm going to do is take a damp beauty blender, the same beauty blender I used earlier to do my makeup. And I just re-wet it and squeeze out the excess water. And now I'm just going to pat over what's on my face. This helps get rid of the powdery look or if it looks kind of cakey. The moisture helps kind of get rid of that cakey look and helps it to look more like skin. And I'm doing this before I apply a little bit more powder to help prevent it shine. So I'm going to just press this around to help freshen up the skin. And get rid of the powdery look that has kind of developed throughout the day. Now I'm going to take my L'Oreal Pro Matte Powder. I just got a new one of these today, but I want to use this one all the way up. And because it is, I've hit pan so bad, what I'm going to do is scrape around the edges to make it like a loose powder. Now I'm just going to use the bottom of one of my brushes. Kind of scrape and create a loose powder. I don't know if you guys can see that. Oops, it just spilled out. That's what I was trying not to do. I'm just gonna put that on my face for now. So I mean, I made it into a loose powder, and I just <laughs> put what it was on the brush on my face. I'm going to take my brush and tap it in here. And you'll see that I picked up way more product like that. The brush is basically fully covered. And now I'm just going to lightly press all over the face. Focusing on the areas where I get most shiny. And I use this powder specifically because it doesn't appear cakey on the skin. No matter how much you put on. And I'm just going to go over my entire face with this. I'm just going to make it look like I did reapply my makeup 
and make the foundation look extra smooth and just make it look way more fresh. Like I actually took some time to redo that makeup. But really focus on the or the Oreos, the areas where you get oily. I guess we could call those Oreos. Your oily areas are called Oreos now. And like I said, I'm really patting it and then sweeping after around the face. Pat, then sweep. Pat, then sweep. So you can already see that the skin looks a lot better. My makeup looks matte, but it looks fresh. It looks good, right? The skin. And I'm just picking up extra foundation or extra powder that fell out of the container, fell on my computer, fell out of the packaging. I'm just going to take whatever's left and go around the printers of my face and my chin. The next thing I like to do if I'm transitioning from like a day look to night look is reapply my blush and the blush I had on is from Black Radiance and it's in the color Toasted Almond and it's a really pretty like natural looking color. The eyeshadow is still intact and it hasn't creased so it recently fell on but I like to just go over my cheeks again with the blush color I had on. And I'm just blending this all over the cheeks. Not really being too uh, neat with this. And I'm just blending it all over. It's a really natural looking color. And I'm taking it all the way up. So that's how that looks. And it's already looking like way better. And I really don't do too much else. Because I did repowder my face, my eyebrows did get covered in some powder. And I just knocked something on the floor. And so I'm going to touch up on my eyebrows just a little bit with the black pencil. I'm basically just going to rub this over them. So I can get darker as you can see. And then blend that pencil out a little bit. This side of the other is more. Just trying to add some more color back since I went over my face in powder. And just blend that in over what's already there. And I see they look a little bit darker. I think that's dark enough. I don't want them to be too dark. Another alternative is to go over them with some old mascara, black mascara if you have black eyebrows like I do. But I think that's good. The next last thing I do is take that same damp sponge again and just go over my face lightly so that the new powder that I applied looks more skin like and not as powder even though this stuff doesn't come off cakey at all this powder this l'oreal powder the infallible pro matte does not come off cakey at all even if you really do like cake it on it never looks cakey which is why i really really like it so i'm just going over this skin again lightly with the damp sun and last but not least I'm going to add lipstick because I'm going to wear red lipstick for the fashion show tonight. And now it's 
30 seconds. 10 minutes. Okay. Refresh your makeup and change your look for nighttime. And the red lipstick I'm going to wear is from Milani and it's called Ruby Valentine. And it is a nice bright red. Still not liking the way the bottle book is looking. I don't really use a liner. Usually, I just use the tip, kind of pointed tip of the lipstick to get detailed. And I go and wipe off the corners. So that is how I refresh my makeup and go from a daytime look to a nighttime look. And because I did reapply powder and go over my skin and press it in, it will last until the end of the fashion show. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little how to refresh your makeup quick, fast, and easy. And kind of go from a daytime to a nighttime look. And now I'm going to get dressed and I'll see you in my next video. Bye YouTube.